Hello Minecraft world. Today I think I'll be showing you how to build a four-stroke uh, cylinder engine. Uh, I've been trying to play with this for a while. I wanted some kind of a power plant inside my naval ships. Anyway, you can see here what's basically going on. If the computer wasn't lagging, I'm not going to get too close. It's pretty loud. Uh, the bottom pistons moving up and down are supposed to emulate an actual piston and the pistons on opposing sides on top are supposed to be the valves for intake and exhaust. Um, I'll show you how to build one of these from scratch and I'm not very good with redstone designs so if somebody can come up with a easier method, mine kind of looks like garbage, but I'm not good at making compact systems. So, Alright, so basically building the uh, basic shape of it, you can use whatever material you want. I'm going to be using stone. Um, lay three blocks down and then uh, three blocks out two in the middle and repeat the pattern so mirror three blocks down and three blocks out this is the basic shape of one cylinder and enough room for the circuitry or the redstone uh, if you put more than one together like I have do at least a space so that you know in between so I'm just gonna lay that out just for the hell of it and then you would build your next one here three blocks and then yeah so anyway this is the basic cylinder shape so now that you have the chamber, add your sticky pistons in the right direction. <laughs> um, whatever, you can use whatever you want for the uh, actual piston top. I, of course, is using iron blocks. Uh, and then you have your piston. Okay. Now you want to add a repeater facing this way on both sides. And do not change the timing and then add your redstone next to the pistons. This will fire them off. Oh. Okay. Uh, add a block behind each redstone uh, repeater and add redstone to the top and in the middle. So now they're all wired up together. <coughs> now we're going to make the uh, power rail. So come out this way and since we need it to loop, we're going to need a block with a torch on it. And we'll get power to it. Okay. Now we can work on the uh, intake valves. So we got to bring the redstone way up. And in fact, to give us a better understanding, let's just put glass around the chamber on both sides. So we've got to bring the redstone up this high. <coughs> so let's just uh, um, if we have a block here for later. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. That's for the loop. Actually, let's just do the loop right away. So the loop just comes down. And we're going to add a repeater here for sake of getting it to point this direction. And then when we build another cylinder on this side, it won't get in the way of that circuitry. So, let's connect this together. Oh, that's right. This is the, uh, I guess, if you want to call it the RPM uh, switch. This uh, runs pretty fast at 1 and 2, but eventually they'll shut off. So it has to be 3 or 4. I like 3. It's a little faster. Um, it's pretty slow overall, but it's a big engine, I guess. So I don't really care. Uh, so now we have the switch going. This is basically what it will run like. And uh, I like to put a switch up on top here so I can turn it on and off. And we'll just turn it off as we build it. All right, now for the uh, intake valves. I'm um, going to have to bring the redstone circuit up. So we'll make a spiral of sorts. About this high. And... Uh, Extend this for the. Uh, this is where the pistons will go that push the valves open. So get your sticky pistons in here. You can use whatever you want for valves. Um, I don't know what I'll actually eventually use, but I'm going to use a uh, stone for now. Or actually, I'll use cobble, I guess. Okay, and uh, power sign just to see that it works. Yep. Oh, something happened there. There you go. 
All right, now we'll work on the uh, exhaust valves. This one's a little trickier. Um, make an extension this way. Uh, don't worry about this circuit. That's for this. We're going to ignore that completely. Uh, you want a repeater on here because this does the timing for the exhaust valve. Uh, basically, this whole thing is about timing. The uh, first redstone circuit goes up here and launches these. Um, <coughs> and these bottom ones are delayed by one because of the repeaters here. So the exhaust valve, we want at least two. Or two clicks to this, so I guess that's three delay. Uh, that'll make that fire, then that, and then the exhaust. So one, two, three. Um, you can actually change this. I like playing around uh, with three and four. They sound a little different. And I don't know how many of you care about how it sounds, but that's a good way to uh, play with the sound of it and not screw up the circuitry. But anyway, so we need to power this this way. I always make the mistake of not putting a block here. Glad I remembered for the video. All right, and now we want this to uh, spiral up. So every step of the way, I'm gonna place some redstone and delete the bottom just because I can. Okay, bring this up. This bottom one. Oops. No, I guess that block's not needed anyway. Okay, and we need to go one more high. For the valves. I think, yep. And then just extend it out. Three. Okay. Now wire it all up. And these valves should be powered. So add your sticky pistons. Ah. I'm not good at this as you can see. Jump on here. Uh, add your valve covers. Or the actual valves themselves. Alright, <clears throat> now that should be ready to go, I believe. Test fired out. Yep. That looks pretty good to me. Uh, you can change the exhaust time for a different sound. Uh, some people might think that's a little more realistic. As far as you can get realistic in Minecraft, I guess. But uh, I, I like 3 for the noise it makes. Actually sounds like a locomotive or something, but... Anyway, so here you have your working cylinder valves and stuff there. You just want to uh, cover these up with glass, or you can do whatever you want, I guess. Uh, I like just to see it, but you can hide whatever you want. Uh, just cover these all in, and you got yourself a cylinder. I wanna. I plan to make eight of these, but I don't know how well if that's going to fit my ship or not. Um, oh, for the tops, I like to... Put something at the top too, obviously. Just do cobble. I, uh, yeah. And then you can, you know, cover this all in. This is obviously going to be the outside. You can cover the outside up. Uh, or just leave it how it is. I will. What do I do this for? Oh, yeah. Um, so I built four in a row here, and that works pretty well. Uh, the other thing I can note is you can power two banks of cylinders from the same circuitry, like. If you look this way, this is exactly what we have built. It's the same. All I did was mirrored it. And so this repeater, there's our repeater, comes around, there's a switch, and it actually powers both of them. So if I fire this up, i got two running. And uh, also, down this bank, I don't know if I'm going to have one circuit power all the way through. Just add a little, like, repeater down the line. That'll change up the timing of all the uh, cylinders. Uh, for now, I just made... Uh, they're all separate. Like, this doesn't interfere with this one, thanks to this uh, repeater here. And then I just have a switch for each pair, I guess. I might just leave it like that, because then you can kind of make your own timing or whatever, but you guys can do whatever you want. Alright, so one thing I forgot to mention, guys, if you're going to uh, power your entire row of cylinders, if you make a uh, long one, what did I just throw? So, oh, lever. Um, <clears throat> you're going to want to obviously get rid of these repeaters because they're all going to be powered off that line, so I'm going to see if I can figure that out quick. I want these gone. The only thing I have to worry about is the length of the circuit, if it still has power. Uh, 
Let's we'll see. That makes it all the way to here, which is the furthest part. <clears throat> oh, that thing. Okay. One thing I guess you wouldn't have to worry about. You just throw her in a uh, repeater here, and you get a slight delay. I guess you could. Uh, hmm. I wonder if that would work all the way down the line. This will throw off these cylinders timing a little bit from each other so they're not all running at the same pace. Barely. Oh jeez. It's pretty loud, I gotta turn that volume down. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, let's make this a little... That's a little more delayed. The only thing I'm worried about <clears throat> is if this will work all the way down the line. I, uh... Oh yeah, obviously not. Okay. I guess that would. Oh yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. <clears throat> I was thinking further down the line there's just too much delay and it wouldn't come around, but I get it. Like I said, I'm not really smart on this redstone stuff, but it looks like this would work. So just remove your repeaters here. I'll get rid of the switch first. I don't blow this up. And there we go. Uh oh, this doesn't quite make it. Oh, forgot my repeater. Derp. I'd be derping. All right. And I guess that leaves you to set up the timing all you want. If you want to do firing order or whatnot, good luck to you. Now it just looks like the wave. I guess that'll work. Um, I should show you what I was. <laughs> my prototype over here. My failed prototype. This used to be much larger. It still is pretty huge. I had the. Uh, Let's think it too linear. I had the line come up here, start these valves, come all the way down, start all the pistons on the bottom. Uh, looks like I changed it around actually, and uh, then go up to the top. Used to uh, used to have a big stairway going down here and coming up to reach the valve, so it was even larger than this. And I tried cutting it down, and then I just scrapped it and started over. But yeah, this is a very large system. Oh, I forgot I had the indicator light for the spark plug, I guess. Yeah. That was kind of nice. I might add that back in there. I don't know. I think I was just doing that for the hell of it. Um, I saw this design online and I <laughs> thought it was kind of interesting. It, uh, it's just the pulser in the middle and the uh, cylinders just fire like crazy but they're all at the same speed. So I got rid of that idea. But this is a much smaller version. Um, if you throw that in a submarine or something, I guess it would work. But it's pretty loud, so I'm gonna turn my volume down even more. Let's see. Yeah, runs very fast, but I don't know. I sort of wanted it, and then I kind of wanted to make my own, and thought I could make a four-stroke engine. But <laughs> it's a little crazy. I don't know. Maybe I'll use both of them depending on uh, which ship I'm using. I should be making a steam engine, but I. Uh, my limited knowledge of steam engines, I think I'll do that later after some research and after I figure this project out. So here's the uh, timing I was talking about. This is basically, I guess, a uh, RPM uh, switch. You can change the speed. As I said before, you want to want three or four delay, so two or three clicks, because uh, one and two will uh, kill themselves out eventually. But you can kind of see how fast things run if you turn them on. Obviously they don't work thanks to the uh, exhaust valve being delayed twice, but um, two doesn't work either for some reason. That's a pretty distant speed, you know, I'd, I'd rather have that one, but uh, you have to use three, which is what we've been working with. Or four, which is even slower. So I guess that's up to you, something fun. Uh, let me know if somebody ever comes up with a better design. Mine's not that great, and I'm pretty newish at Ritzone circuitry, so I tried to make this compact, but uh, yeah, this just one cylinder takes up, you know, what is this, six, eight, eight wide, uh, and then a space in between each, so it gets pretty large. There's four in a row, and I'm planning to finish this, and then once I get, get it all figured out, I'll put it in my... Uh, real world and not creative but uh yeah you guys let me know if you uh find out anything uh better all right thanks for watching guys